Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin, and yes, we finally got into the BFA beta. Yes, it is the beta. They changed it from the alpha. The difference between the beta and the alpha is a lot more people getting invited. And the first thing I want to say is thank you to everybody who took the time to try to harass the Blizzard customer support in order to try to get your boy Dalaran the Rogue into the beta slash alpha. And we we're in. We we're in, and I was able to test out a bit of the content myself on stream today. It was a long stream and it was a very overwhelming stream. The amount of you guys that came over there and supporting the stream and doing what we do here, it has been awesome. And I want to continue doing this for the next few days and closely take a look at, at BFA with the ability now to finally take a look at the nitty gritty details of it all. There's a lot to take a look at and honestly, during today's stream I was a little bit overwhelmed and even exhausted by so much information that is being just thrown at me and I have to absorb it as fast as I can so I can make my videos. Because finally we have the opportunity. We finally have the opportunity on this channel to cover the stuff for BFA that we wanted to. Finally, with the ability to go into the details of it. I want to check out the Alliance side, I want to check out the Horde, I want to see what the Rogues are all about, the Outlaw, the Assassination, the Subtle Team, and I want to see what you guys are interested in. So I would ask you guys, if you're watching this video right now, in the comment below, just type me what you would want to see from BFA. What are you interested in? Any specific class, any specific racial, any specific part of the content, be it the island expeditions with certain classes maybe, or war fronts, or healing maybe, tanking maybe. There's so much stuff for me to take a look at. I enjoy the PvE aspects of this game as well as the PvP. And there's just so much for me to take a look at. So this is an opportunity not only for me to make videos for the channel, which is great for the channel because it gets a lot of views and a lot of traction, but also it's an opportunity for you guys to get a little bit of an insight on maybe how your favorite class plays. Or maybe you're simply wondering which is the strongest class in BFA right now. So you're trying to prepare yourself that class that you'll be able to play once BFA comes out and destroy the competition in DPS, healing, or whatever. And I will be happy to make videos for you guys. Again, this is an opportunity that a lot of you were able to help me out with. A lot of you went to harass some of the Blizzard developers, uh, whether these developers are just simply customer support. A lot of you guys took the time out of your day to try to see if you can help me get into the beta slash alpha. And I really do want to uh, allow myself to give you guys back a little bit. So, of course, I'll be doing a lot of stuff for BFA. But now I have to find a way to balance out the live streams for Legion and BFA streams and PvE content that I'm still engaging in, P uh, in, in Legion. As well as my EU Rogue that I'm now leveling. There's just so much stuff on my plate. So, it's going to be interesting to see how it's all going to turn out. Overall, BFA ha feels awesome though. BFA feels great, but also feels very different. It's one of those expansions that I feel like normally we have when you have a transition from an expansion to expansion. Like I felt it from Cataclysm into Miss of Pandaria, the game definitely did feel a little different, but there was a lot of similarity to uh, what you remember. Like uh, let's say for example the way that tanks pull mobs. Well, do they group them up, or are they really really careful? Usually those things transition into the another expansion. Then the PvP aspects. Then player mannerisms, I guess, that come along with it. Just little things that make the game what it is. And I feel like in, let's say, going from Kata to Mob or Mob to Wad, I feel that for the most part, the game felt consistent. But I feel that the transition from Legion to BFA feels a lot more fresh. I felt that other expansions and transitions from x to an x at least from Cataclysm till now, felt pretty familiar. There's a lot of things that are very, very similar. But BFA really feels different. It feels like a whole new beast. Maybe it is it just maybe it could be just the DCD change. Because I played a couple classes just hitting a train dummy, and the whole game just feels so different. And then jumping on my Outlook, which is a much faster spec in a dungeon, even the way the tanks pull and the healers heal and everybody else plays the game, it just feels so different. It is really hard to pinpoint exactly what it is that feels different about BFA. But if you're somebody who is looking for a fresh new expansion or a fresh new take on what World of Warcraft is, I feel like Legion or BFA might be that expansion for you. Because for me so far, it's just all over the place. I still cannot even put my finger on it. I've been questing just to find out what the expansion is all about. And it's, it's, I, I just, I'm so lost and confused and there's just so much info. And I need some time to make some actual videos where I sit down and I think all this through. But so far, has been a great amount of fun. It's been a lot of content for me to try. And I haven't even, I, I only began to scratch the surface. 
I am gonna say though, my thoughts and fears about the GCD change, especially with some classes, are definitely realized. And I said the GCD change, how it affects a bunch of your offensive abilities and how bad it feels to play some specs that have a lot of cooldowns to stack. I would say that that is pretty real in BFA, if anything. I won't say that GCD really ruins or makes all classes very sluggish, like casters for example. I spend very minimal time on a Demon Warlock, but casting spells and casting spells as a Destro, casting spells as an Affy, you really don't feel that GCD quite as heavy. It really comes down to the melee classes. Like Frost Death Knight feels like... I mean, Frost Death Knight's always had that very, very slow feel in terms of mobility, but I felt like the Frost Death Knight playstyle, in terms of how fast you can rotate your abilities, felt great. Right now, Unholy and Frost really do embody the GCD change. Two specializations of Death Knight, both Death Knights, feel so slow in how you use your abilities. I haven't even got to test the numbers, because the numbers might be great. Maybe they are very slow, but they're very hard hitters. But to go from a specialization that is as fast in your combos as Frost Death Knight, and then just go to just a com almost a complete halt, going from 60 miles an hour down to like 5 miles an hour, it definitely feels jarring. And I'm just going to have to spend a little bit more time on a lot of the classes to really see if maybe there's a better build. Maybe there's Azerite pieces of gear. Maybe there's certain stats that you need to stack in order to make a specialization feel that much better. Because there's a lot of changes. And I really do want to give everything as much of a fair try as possible. Maybe even as much of a fair try as I'm giving Outlaws. I'm playing it for hours and hours and hours so far on the BFA beta. And really just trying to figure it all out. There's a lot of stuff for me to take a look at, man. There's a lot. So with this, I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go get some sleep. And then when I wake up, I'm going to get some more BFA stuff done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see all of you in the next one.